Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm gonna make a video that's a bit different from my usual ones today, but um, yeah, I just thought I'd make it to um, help a couple of people. So uh, this is um, how to format an external hard drive so it'll work with your Xbox or PS3, because um, usually um, if you plug an external hard drive into an Xbox or a PS3, um, it won't recognize it most of the time. So um, yeah, this is uh, how to do it. So what you do is you just go on to start, and then you go on to um, computer, right click and click manage. You've got to have your external plugged in and everything. Um, this will work with any external hard drive. Um, yeah, so once you're on computer management, you go on storage, and then um, disk management. And this loads up all of your um, hard drives that are connected to your computer. So um, whatever you do, do not um, do anything to this drive, don't format it or anything. This is your main um, hard drive which Windows runs on, depending on what operating system you've got. Um, don't change that. This is my um, main external hard drive, I'm not going to be doing it to this one. But I am going to be changing this one. Um, this is just a little external I made from a old laptop hard drive. So yeah, um, you need at least 32 gigs free on this hard drive. Um, so there's two ways of doing this, but the m the first way um, is to right click um, the hard drive that you want to change, and then click shrink volume. Um, so then you enter the amount that you want to shrink it by. You want to enter three two seven six eight. Now this is um, 32 gigs, which is the biggest size you can have to make it Xbox compatible, without it being an official Xbox hard drive. And um, 32 gigs is perfectly fine, you know, you can fit loads of films on there. So um, you want to click shrink. And um, what this does is this takes away 32 gigs from your hard drive. Um, so now what you do is you click new simple volume. Click next. Uh, that's all fine. Uh, assign the following drive letter. That, it doesn't matter what you put it as, you know, as long as it's not um, the first couple. I usually put this X, you know, because it's an Xbox hard drive. And you click next, and um, where you where it says file system, you want to click FAT32. Um, allocation size, leave that the same, and then um, volume label. That's what you want it to be called. So I'm just going to call mine Xbox. Um, next, and um, it will just format it quickly. Um, the partition that you've made even though there's nothing on there and um, there you go you have a nice um, little partition that will work for Xbox and also um, all your other files that were on the hard drive already will be perfectly fine you know and that's um, that's great um, you can use that for transferring stuff onto it and you know plug it in watching films or what you can do is you can go on to um, system settings on your Xbox and then configure that part of the hard drive so it's linked up with your Xbox so then you can install games off it um, you can do that as well and um, also let me just show you, you can make another partition so you know if you want to do one partition for transferring um, films and stuff and then another one for installing games you can do that as well um, if you need to know how to do that just um, rewatch the video so yeah um, it'll work with any external hard drive. I mean, this is like a five year old laptop hard drive, and I installed Black Ops 2 on it yesterday. It played perfectly, so yeah. Um, installing a game onto your hard drive will basically make it so the game still needs to be in the Xbox, but it runs from the hard drive, not the disk, so then your disk drive will, you know, last a bit longer. So yeah. Um, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it helped you and um, have a great day.